How much can we push C log before it falls completely apart? Let's find out. Thank you for checking out my channel. I'm Carlos Quintero from Media IQ, and today we're gonna push C log and then try to bring it back to see exactly how much we can actually push before it falls completely apart and how usable that C log is when you underexpose it. And if you stick around to the end of the video, you'll get an extra bonus clip where we not only push C log, but we then add a creative grade on top of it so that you can see sort of how much you can actually get out of C log. Okay, so here's our setup. We're shooting on the Canon EOS 5D Mark IV in C log, 400 ISO, 150th shutter. I'm using the Canon 50 millimeter F 1.2 L lens and I'm lighting the scene with two lights. The backlight is the Aperture COB 120D, set to 20% with a snoot and grid to control the spill. The key light is a Cineo Matchbox, which I'm holding about six feet or approximately two meters away. I'll be using the dimmer on the Cineo Matchbox to underexpose in one third increments as we go throughout this test. In this first clip, I'm exposing exactly how Canon wants us to. When shooting in C-Log, the midtones are at 40%. Once I apply the Canon provided LUT, I don't see any noise. This looks like a really nice image. So let's start underexposing. We're now at one third stop underexposed, and this is still very much a clean image. This is now two thirds stops underexposed and the image is still very clean. Adding the color grade and we're still in really good shape. At one stop under, other than the fact that I focused on the back eye instead of the front eye, this is still a very good shot. At one and one third stops under, we begin to see noise or fine grain. Once we add the color, we're still in great shape. We're now at one and two thirds stops under and I can clearly see the noise. When I add the grade, the noise is gone. At least it is on my system. We'll see what the YouTube compression does and how this turns out. Okay, we're now at two stops under. And once again, I'm kind of impressed. Adding the grade and this still very much works for me. I'll say this, not all DSLR cameras that can shoot in 4K can handle this very well. Okay, we're now at two and two thirds stops underexposed. Let's apply the grade and there you go. I mean, this still could be usable. In this last clip, we're three stops under. And by the looks of this, it looks like we really just blew it. Let's apply the color grade and whoa, for a moody shot, this could actually work. We have clean gradients, no distracting noise, no fixed pattern noise. All in all, we're in good shape. Let's take this three stops underexposed clip and push it by adding a stylized grade on top of this. Generally, this step is what brings out all of the nasty and ugly artifacts that weak codecs have to offer. So here it is. And as many of you know, this is 8-bit color information that we're getting out of the Canon 5D Mark IV. So I'm curious, what do you think? How far would you be comfortable pushing C-Log before it became unusable for your types of projects? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you're interested in downloading any one or all of these clips so that you can grade them on your own system, leave a comment below and I'll get you the download link. Well guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode because I have a project I need to shoot with this guy, the Canon EOS C200. Just arrived in the studio today and we're gonna be putting this camera through its paces so that we could actually shoot a real project. Um, I'll be sure to share all that with you. If you guys are interested, of course, don't forget to let me know. Hope you found this information useful. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can see the rest of the videos in the series. Until next time, I'm Carlos Quintero from Media IQ, helping you compete in today's web economy. Thank you for watching.